Hi, my name is Newell Davis with World Composting, and today we're going to do another update of our urban worm bag. So we've already loaded up, loaded it up with worms. Well, I should say we put it together, loaded it up with worms. We've checked it a couple times, and this is about four or five weeks in. We're going to check it again, make sure the moisture content is good. I have a water bottle. I have some more food in case they're out of food, and I also have more bedding material just in case it's too moist. So let's go to the bin and or the bag, I should say, and take a look. So let's go down here and take a look in here and see how we're doing. So first thing first, no moisture on the top here. It looks like the uh, worms are really starting to work the material here. Just trying to kill a bug in there. Uh, it looks like this is starting to really get well turned over. They're really working all of it. Um, they're not really leaving a whole lot behind. I'm getting some bugs in here. So I'm just trying to squash those out right now. But uh, so I am getting a couple of fruit flies in here, or some sort of uh, fly, but that's okay. It's a little bit chilly in here compared to what it was last time. Last time I dug in here, it was really, really warm. So let's just take a look in here. It's starting to get kind of thick, but plenty of worms. They're doing really well in here, it looks like. Uh, they look very healthy. The material's not too wet. This actually is working really well. So we still have some dry material on the bottom here, so I don't think I need to add any dry material. I'm just going to rotate this around a little bit, try to move some of this stuff up towards the top here. So, now if you guys remember, when I put the uh, worms in, I just dumped a bin in that I had that had pretty much been composted and had a lot of worms in it. So, there's still worms all throughout the bin here. I mean, there's one, there's a bunch in here. I mean, these are pretty, but this feels very light and airy in here. It's not too wet. Um, even though I put in watermelon, which normally, when I've thrown that in in the past, this stuff normally just turns into uh, mush in, in the bin and just completely saturates them. So still a couple little places in here, I think from when I first added stuff. And see, there's some nice healthy worms in there. Get those off of me here. So I think, I'm not seeing much food, believe it or not. They've really uh, done a really good job of consuming the food that I put in. I put in quite a bit last time. So what we're going to do is we're going to add more, but I'm going to do something a little different than I normally would ever do. And that is I'm just going to dump the food right on top here. I'm not going to bury it at all. I'm just going to kind of throw it on top and then throw a little bit of fresh cardboard on it. So I have a little tub here that has... Oop, didn't mean to do that. Get some of this ice off here too. So, I have a bin here that's filled with carrots, and in the bottom there's some spinach. This stuff is uh, sort of went rotten now. It is frozen still, and actually it looks like there's also a, uh, an orange or clementine rind in here too. So this is frozen solid into a brick. It'll dissolve very quickly uh, from my experience and break down, but we're going to see how quickly the worms go through it. So today is uh, March 2nd. And we're going to come back in a week, and we're going to take a look, and we're going to see how they do. So what I'm going to do, with one last thing I'm going to do before I shut this off here, or close it up, is I'm going to take some of my uh, bedding material here. I'm just going to throw this on top, just to kind of cover it a little bit. But we're not going to cover it a whole lot. So just a little bit, just to kind of get it a little bit covered. And now we're going to let that be, and we're going to see how well they come into this area, break this down, and see how it looks within a week. I'm, I'm right now I'm surprised at how fast they're able to move through this material that's in here. I'm, uh, I've never seen really the worms I've had move that quickly on material before and, and just sort of dissolve it all. I mean, like there's almost no banana peels left in here. There's nothing really left other than the cardboard and paper that I have and then the castings. So they're doing a very good job in this bin. I'm actually very impressed with how it's working. It also appears that there's a lot more worms than there was before which could be the case. There was a lot of cocoons in what I dumped in here. So we will have to come back and check. Now I will say I am starting to see some flies in here, which I didn't know if this would happen or not, but uh, if you can't tell, there's one up here. Ooh, that's, that's a little bit too high for the camera to see. Oh, there you go. It's easy. There's a couple of them over here on the side. So uh, there are some bugs in here, which I, I was kind of hoping that this lid and everything would keep things out, but they also could have already been in with the what I put in here before or they could have been uh, on some of the 
food that I put in here, even though I freeze everything, I'm still not convinced that that actually kills every bug. Or they could have come from one of my other bins and somehow crawled their way in through one of these straps or something like that. So it is getting some bugs in here, but that's, it's, it's pretty contained. It's not like they're flying out all over the place. Like some of my other bins, like, you know, when they get bugs, they just, they're just everywhere in the room and I can't get rid of them, it seems like, for a while. So that's it for that. Now there's one other thing I do want to show everybody here. I'm going to close this up here real quick. And I'm going to bring this camera around here. This might take me a second here. I'm just going to take this off. Actually, i got to take my glove off first. So I'm going to take this camera off here. We're going to come down here nice and slow. And I want to show you here the bottom of this bag. So it's really starting to press out, and this is getting heavy. It's starting to get pretty heavy. I can't just, like, I can move it around, but when I move it around, the entire frame moves. So it's a pretty strong frame, but this is already starting to get heavy, even when I lift it. So, I mean, I can lift one side pretty easily, but it's still, I mean, this probably weighs a good, I want to say, you know, 30 plus pounds. So this does, these do start to weigh in, and you got to make sure you put this in an area where you want it to be because if you don't you're going to end up with something where you have a uh, this in an area where you don't want it to be and you're not going to be able to move it possibly so make sure you put this when you set this or this urban worm bag up if you buy one in an area where you want it to be right now i'm okay with it being right here it's kind of off to the side a little bit but uh, i'm okay it works for right now where it is and i might move it a little bit later but it's fine right now i'm hoping that I will always be able to move it by picking it up by these side pieces here, but I don't know if that will be the case. So we'll find out as this continues along. As you can tell, we had a lot of areas still left to fill up in here before we start doing our harvesting, which is what I'm really curious about is how well this zipper on the bottom is going to work for harvesting. I've never tried this before, and I'm really curious. So that's my update for this week, and I will be back in one week. Thank you, everybody, and please subscribe to my channel.